I feel like most people on Instagram today is just concentrating on the post part of it and not the stories part of it. I don't know why is that but they really don't care about the stories. But it does really have a lot of potential to it but people don't realize, people don't harness the total potential of it. You can really keep your audience engaged, surprise if you would. Unlike a post where you just add one photo or a carousel of it, in stories you can be much more creative than that. In a post if you do a lot of things it can really go weird sometimes. Mostly it will go weird if you do a lot of things. It's better to post just a plain photo in a post but do a, a little more creative things in your story. So here are 10 really simple things to level up your Instagram stories in 2021. So number one it's pretty obvious you have to use the entire screen you have. You don't want to use the middle of it, you don't want to use the above part of it and leave the rest empty. You have to use the entire screen. If you want your image to fill up the whole screen, you will have to crop it in the 16 is to 9 ratio. It's available in any photo editing application really. You just have to select the 16 is to 9 ratio or 1080 by 1920. So normally when you hold your phone horizontally, it's 1920 into 1080 which is full HD. But when you hold it vertically for Instagram stories, it is 1080 by 1920 or 16 is to 9 aspect ratio. But in some cases you will prefer not to crop your images. In that case, if your image is wide, you can just invert it and put it vertically without cropping it. That's a good idea. Or if you just don't want to do that at all, then don't use that you know Instagram pre-made uh, thing which they put in the empty areas of the Im image or the story. You will have to fill it up with white or black or any other color which you would like. You don't have to use what Instagram creates it for you. I personally don't like what Instagram creates for me I think it looks bad so just fill it up with white or black or any other color which you would prefer so with that sorted moving on to number two try adding titles or information to photos which it might suit you don't have to force a title or an information to a photo which it might not suit if it suits then go for it it just completely elevates the total mood of it you can just use a pre-built text tool inside of Instagram for this So now moving on to number 3, try adding multiple photos to a single story or as a collage. Maybe keep a photo here, 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 wherever you want you get the point. But try to do it as professionally as you can, you don't want to make it amateurish. You want to have a clean professional look. This can be really helpful when one single photo is not that great to go in one single story. You can add multiple of that and make it much better, not multiple of the same photo but the same um, topic or the same environment and for that you can use this app called unfold which is free in both the app store and play store and try all this stuff for stories and I think for post also it's a pretty good app number four adding detail shots so let's say for example I have a wide photo of this microphone right here from a wide angle 
for my first story and then for the second story i will add a close up of this mic maybe these areas where this uh small ventilation what do you call it you get it you can just get us close up of that and it might really do well when you see it simultaneously go sleepless nights i lay awake just begging to let go i almost got to suicide all thoughts when you stepped in and number 5 writing behind objects using photoshop to create a really really cool effect i'm not joking this this looks really cool for example look at these stories They look pretty cool, don't they? And it's that simple to write behind objects in Photoshop, or you can use any other photo editing program you prefer, which has options like these. You don't have to necessarily use Photoshop. So number six, adding interacting cartoon characters to real life images. This can go really well together. Trust me. Before we begin, look at these images. The cartoon characters which you draw and add to your images doesn't necessarily have to be yours. You could just be copying someone's cartoon characters and just drawing it into your images using Photoshop or whatever application you prefer. You don't have to be a god at drawing or anything to do this. It can be as simple as a stick man interacting to something in your photo. So in order to do this, open Photoshop and open the image you want and then create a new layer, a blank layer and try drawing or just sketching ideas or characters you want maybe like a character standing on a leaf and in the next layer finalize the drawing with a little more thicker brush and in the next layer color it as simple as that these are really fun things to do and your story viewers might also love it moving on to number 7 try 3d tracking text to short videos for your stories look this is really really cool to look at just for yourself after you created you will keep on looking at it yourself and it's not really that hard to do it for this you can use short really really good videos and that will make a huge impact on your audience your audience is going to love it and also if you want to make it a little more better you can add music to it and number 9 animating certain photos to make it look much much more interesting you really have to try this it's super easy to do if you know just the basics of photoshop and premiere pro It's going to be a breeze to do but the outcome is really really cool to look at. So that's how it's done and just try it for yourself and be amazed. <laughs> Number 10, the final one, you post a picture to your feed and you want to rocket it to your story so that more people can see it that you posted a photo. So most people just rocket it as it is and just add to your story. But when you rocket it to your story, Instagram randomly picks a color and assigns it to the background of the rocketed post, right? but in this case you can actually choose a good color to be in the background maybe a darker color will really make your photos pop when it's in your story and by doing this you catch your audience's eye really fast and the probability of them clicking on it and going to your post and interacting with it is much more likely
So that's how simple it is to do. So we are done with all the 10 simple things to elevate, to take your stories to the next level in Instagram. That's it. I would love to know what you created using these 10 simple things. And if you happen to do so, feel free to send it to me in my Instagram right here. And also if you'd like to see what I do on my stories in Instagram, check me out on Instagram. Let's connect. So that's it for today and I hope I was of some help to you. And these 10 things made a difference in your way of thinking about stories, giving importance to stories and not just post. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next one.